Hello and welcome back my dear viewers. I'm sorry I haven't been making any new videos lately, but I recently got involved in working on this indie game called Feelings Adrift and I joined the original creator to so that we create a rework for this game. So I've been busy creating assets and some cre uh, some creatures and some characters for the game. As you can see, this one is my the latest one I've created and there's another one there. And so I've been busy with this, that's why I haven't been doing any videos. Now I'm going to share my character creation process with you later on in another playlist. In this playlist, oh yes, if you want to play the game, you can find it on Steam, the first version released in 2016. And we hopefully the next one will be next year, there we're going to release something uh, a lot better than the original one. In this playlist, we're going to be creating a game asset. And what we'll be doing is an IV pole. Uh, so one of them hospital IV poles that hold the serum or whatever other medicine you need uh, to have. And one of my processes is to first look at some reference, look for some reference. And I like to do this in the um, DuckDuckGo website, DuckDuckGo.com, so that I don't just get the same thing as everybody else does because most people go to Google. So I was looking at a bunch of different IV polls that I found here online and I got to selecting a few of them. Let's me let me see. So I was looking at this one and this one has like four wheels. Uh, it, I'm not gonna go with it because four wheels is not really common and I, I want to have something common that people can really identify with if you ever been in a hospital you know that most of them always have five well there's this model that has four but it's not very common so most of them have five or more as you can see here so I, I went through a bunch of them and uh, I'm not going to go with that one, so I'm just going to close this window. And I got down to these three, this one as well, and this one. Now this is uh, uh, is interesting and it looks like a chair um, uh, wheels. But the thing is, I'm not going to go with this one, not because, oh, it's too complex and I don't want to get my head around it to build it, but because this is going to give me, I'm going to delete an I need a lot more geometry on this one that I would need on this one or this one. And because it's a game asset, I want to keep my geometry down. So I'm going to go as simple as possible. So for the base, I'm just going to go and use this. This is the simplest one I've found. I'm going to go with that. Now for the top, uh, this is the most common one, uh, a double um, serum holder right there's also the the ones that have four you also have this one uh to be honest i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this or this i think this is gonna use less geometry than that so i'm gonna go with this top one here and yeah i'm gonna go with this top one here i'm just gonna close this one yeah so the top is going to be this and the base is going to be that. That's the simplest I found. That's the ones that are going to use less geometry. I also went into Sketchfab because uh, before we go any further, I want to say that uh, in this video series, we are going to model this in ZBrush. And when we're done, we're going to put it up for sale in Sketchfab. I'll show you how you can do that and why not do put everything that you create for sale. It's another form of income. And also we're gonna end up uh, taking the model into UE4, Unreal Engine 4. And I'm gonna sh we're gonna go through Substance Painter to texture it. And I might pop into Maya just to get some proper UVs, although it's not gonna be an essential program in this tutorial. And we're gonna talk about geometry and what to what is enough geometry and what is not enough geometry. We're going to talk about smoothing groups, how to get rid of faceted um, faces. And I just went into Sketchfab here and I wrote down IV pole, look for what do they have already. And let's open up one of these models here. Okay, so here we have one of them uh, four wheelers. And let's just look at it. 
and it's really good really nice model here and you can see there's no facetation faceted faces or anything like that one thing i can right away see is that this is this is a very sharp sharp corner here and it's not very realistic you really would use uh, a bit of bevel there to make it a bit more realistic in real life there's no sharp corners like that and what else can we look at here this is a four-way one and it's a really good model let's see another one and by now you can skip this video if you just want to get into it and, and start modeling and next video will be about modeling in ZBrush so you, if you want you can skip this video and let's look at this one as you can see in this one we have some beveling here and this is a bit more realistic this is a bit a bit better uh, those bevels there really make a difference and I got a pretty simplistic um, model here okay uh, what's missing in this model is a little adjustment wheel here like the other ones have there's no adjustment there and I'm looking for one that I found no it's not this one this one okay so in this model and I think this one is free uh, yeah, download 3D model. I, I believe that that one is free and probably the reason that is free is because of this as you can see all the faces here have no smoothing uh, Applied to it and that's why you can see all the faces here You can see all the faceted faces here because there's no smoothing groups applied to it And we're gonna learn how we can avoid this uh, coming from ZBrush and also before we get started I want to talk about uh, this new tool that it's out there and it's free uh, it's open source and it's called OD underscore copy paste external and these will allow you to copy um, vertices polygons and UVs and in some cases morphs and weight maps uh, from one application to the other and you got all these applications that you can go from one to the other by using copy paste and it's really good software and I just installed it today so I'm gonna be using it when we go to Substance Painter and yeah check this out uh, that's the link right there if you look in Google for this or the underscore copy paste external it should take you to the github and then to download it you just press view on github come here press download and download the zip file and just in the previous page you got the instructions on how to install in the different applications okay so without further ado let's start this playlist and start in zbrush on the next video